Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, Silent Street, Eau de Parfum. I got a sample of this and I want to talk to you about it. Uh, let me just give you the background on this. This is a floral musk. It is uh, one of 10 fragrances that this designer did in conjunction with a company called Butterfly Beauty, who also did the Elizabeth and James fragrances that are available at Sephora as well as this one. Um, the 10 Crosby reference is where his store is and all of these fragrances um, are real or imagined sequences that have happened or may not have happened um, throughout the years uh, on the street where his company is. And this one, Silent Street, as I said, is a floral musk. It came out in 2015. It's very sophisticated, stylish, and sweet. Um, it's, I think it's unisex, although it's marketed for women. I think it's a very superior blend of musk and white florals. Um, it just, it's just so pretty. It really is. To me, it's, it's a summer fragrance, which is why I'm kind of doing this now, uh, a video now. But um, to the designer, this is a winter moment that he had. And um, the purity of the musk, the essence of the white musk is what he's all about in this particular fragrance. Um, and it is beautiful. It really is. It retails for $95, which uh, a lot of people may not want to pay that. I think that um, if you contrast it, which I'm about to do, with the drugstore version, which is way different. It's, it's got the same white musk base, and a lot of you will know this, Jovan white musk. It's a floral white musk. But it's very metallic, it's very harsh, it's very hairspray. Um, but I like this too. And um, I have that on this arm. And it's just very 70s, very, very drugstore. You can buy this at Walmart or wherever. It's, uh, the blending is what you're gonna learn is the difference in the designer and niche market versus the drugstore market. Now that is not true for every fragrance in the drugstore, but in this particular case, this is it is true. And this is good, this is nice, you know? Um, this is a well-loved uh, fragrance in the Jovan line. And this is the designer version, which is far superior um, to it. Uh, what else do I have to say? Um, and if you if you do if you do have the Jovan, you know what that smells like. You know it's metallic. You know it's very hairspray like. And if you like it, that's great. So you would be the perfect person to contrast it and to try the designer version of a floral musk and see how superior it really is. And even if um, you don't want to pay ninety five, you could get a sample and try it out because it is beautiful and, and it's stylish, it's sophisticated. And um, this one isn't, but it's got the same idea of fragrance behind it. So I thought I would uh, contrast that for you because I want you to expand your horizons and learn some new ideas about fragrance in general. This is really pretty. Now there are gonna be people out there that don't like it, that, that, that just don't smell anything but this, I'm sure they're out there, but I can tell you, if you do them side by side, you will, you will see the difference. You will smell the difference. Um, you will appreciate the difference, and that's what I'm trying to get at, I guess. This is beautiful. I can't wait to try his other fragrances, the other 10, and see what I think of them. And uh, oh, so nice, so nice. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.